This is episode five, Bat Nine Films, and we're actually at the home of golf for me. No, not at St Andrews. We are at Mottram Hall on my doorstep. So I'm gonna be taking on Josh. You've seen him on my channel before, and I'm gonna give him four shots. Just four? Yeah, four. But there's a catch, right? You can choose where you wanna take them, but before you hit your tee shot, or okay. before I hit my tee shot. Okay. So we're gonna play the last six holes, 13 through to 18, which is by far the toughest stretch here at Mottram Hall. Welcome to episode five. Now this is just an extra point. Me and Josh uh, actually have a podcast together. This is a bit of a grudge match. So you're probably gonna hear about this on there as well. Right, even or odd? Uh, odd. I was at, <laughs> odd? <laughs> why was that such a tough question? Uh, it's even, you can go first. Oh. So the line on here, actually in, in all the episodes so far, I, we've done it at golf courses where I haven't played before. So Josh, let me tell you the line. Okay, yeah, you can tell me the line. So you just want to take it just over this bunker on the left half. Okay. I'm actually going to give you sound advice. <laughs> you say that, but where this goes is completely out of my hands. So um... I don't believe a word you say. <laughs> I'll see you down there, mate. Good Lord. He's come to play. <laughs> Jeez. Last time we played. A little played, bit but. <laughs> I like how you styled it out with the walk forward. It was nice. Last time we played, it was, well, not like that. I feel a bit of pressure. Please here. don't tell them what it was like. Oh, you've not actually said you want a shot. So, oh. too late. Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. To be fair, when you've hit a tee shot like that, you don't really need one. shot they literally could throw a blanket over those two looks like it hopefully there'll be some good standard of golf today and i can get another win i had one 190 the flag 223 i got sure it's not in meters i'm certain it's not in meters <laughs> mate i'm telling you right now 223 i oh, know 191 i must have got the trees in the background i was gonna say and 165 the front. What are you going with? I'm going to go six iron. Oof. Oof. Bong six I think. So you couldn't place these balls any closer than each other. It's a good driver, mate. We're all the way down there just to put this drive into context. Thank you, mate. And there is the uh, poor golfer in me. <laughs> good. <laughs> Quality. Driven like a scratch handicap and he's just got a top to six side. Oh well. There's plenty of holes left. He's fuming inside, absolutely fuming. 183, there's literally 10 yards between our drives. Yeah. What did you hit? Well, what did you try and hit? Tried to hit six iron. I had 165 to the front. I think that's a long way. That, so right. my thought process was a one, my 190 is a five iron. So if I land it halfway between, it's going to run up. Mm. I'm going to have to go six iron as well, above my feet. This is like the one from episode four where it's above my feet and I just went, <gasps> fat. Right, six iron coming up. Go, go. Spinny. That came out so spinny. That's one of the hard things I think here. Yeah. Like you put yourself in play and then I think I'm going to say because the ball's above my feet is why I topped it. Oh yeah, that old chest. <laughs> <laughs> right, don't top it. That would be, that would be my, my swing thought right now. Sound advice from Josh. Put those swing thoughts in your head. Nice swing, mate. Travel, nice travel. Yeah, that's good. Oh. You're, you're dancing. I am dancing. I'm dancing. We'll take it, it's better than the last one. That can't be much worse. <laughs> I think I am just up by the right side, so if I, well, if I got it to be close, I've got a chance of taking the first hole. Get in. Get in. Oh! oh nice shot. Nice shot, mate. Literally thought that was in. 
That is a four for me. That serves for the half. This is where you really, really should have used your shot. I know, thanks, mate. <laughs> you were too excited that you got his drive away. So you still got a chance, this is for the half. You threw me off with the odds and evens question. All part of the tactic. <laughs> Tell you what, if you did that, that was chance. online. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh well. Right, one up through one. We're on the 14th hole now. Now, this hole is what I would class as sort of semi risk and reward. You can go down the bottom on the tee shot and take it on with driver, but then you hit into an elevated green. And right now, yeah, it might sound strange, we've not actually had much rain here, so it just, just skirts off. But one thing you notice this place, well, hopefully we'll put some drone shots at the front nine. The front nine is very, very flat. Back nine is a lot hillier and the rough is extremely thick. Because end of the year, they've got the, um, what's it called? Oh, I know the rough's thick, mate, yeah. yeah. No, they've that. got the tour school at the end of the year. They do, they do. Um, for those of you that haven't yet listened to our podcast, go and listen to, I think it was episode 19, where you'll find out why I know that the rough's thick. <laughs> How many golf balls can you lose in a round? <laughs> what's the, what's the, get in the comments, actually. What is like, a, in nine holes, what, what's a lot of golf balls to lose? Record's well, 27, that's all I'm saying. 27? That's not you. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, so I'm going to go four, Ryan. Uh, the idea here is I'm going to try and keep it short of that tree. And even if I do go a little bit right, I'm still going to be far enough back to go over the tree. And secondly, it's going to leave me a flat shot into this green, which is a lot better to have. Even though it's a bit further in, it's a, it's a lot better to have a flat lie rather than a downhill lie. Yeah. Get under that tree. That's not nice. <laughs> no, it's a oh, lovely kick shot. right as well. It's a lovely shot and you've got me thinking now. <sighs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my decision and I'm gonna take a shot on here as well. Whoa, we, the rules were before I hit my shot. No, it wasn't before I hit my shot. Can we put a replay on here? You can choose where you wanna take them, but before you hit your tee shot or okay. before I hit my tee shot. It's before I hit my shot. I'm sure yeah. I said before both, but okay. It's fine. I know the game. Sit, sit, Ooh. sit, sit. That could be in. That deep could be doo -doo. in deep doo doo. I mean, the only positive thing is it might be quite a lot trampled down there because it is a popular area. No, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> we'll see. Need that shot, son? I do need that shot. 163, so this is what I was meaning, right? So I see how this is really nice and flat. Usually if you hit driver, like where Josh is, like you get on that down slope, which, okay, yeah, you have a shorter shot. But now I've got like a flat shot at the same level. 163, I'm thinking, gotta be seven iron. Gotta be seven iron. It's quite flat calm. It's actually quite a kind pin. It usually gets a little bit further right. Okay. Josh does have a shot, and I think he will find that, so put a bit of pressure on. Get down. Get down. Oh dear. That was like a flyer. So, you know, something about that deep rough. Just got in it. Um, so. What do you want? I found it. A wedge. Whatever yeah, you think's best to get me out of here. Being right. the professional that you are, I need your help here. <laughs> Say what, I think there's something dubious going on here. There's but not. For you to find that in there, it's come down the trouser like that. Absolutely has not. That's I cool. am not like Patrick Reed. Whoa. <laughs> I'll see it. I love it. Um, so I'm six foot two, and this is nearly at my hips. Do you know what? You're going to do well to get that out. Do you know where this is going to go? about there and I'm gonna lose it. You've got to aim like that way, for sure. This way. Like, I'm in trouble. Like, I got a flyer out of the drainage ditch. Jeez, just, oh my. This is I'm just gonna snag my club, just swing, yeah. swing hard. Hold, like, hold grip, that grip really tight. Whoa, none of this, you can't do that. No, but I'm gonna have to come, like, steep on it as well. I'm gonna miss it. Potential. <laughs> oh, we've got it. <laughs> Look at that. 
Jeez, <laughs> oh my. Don't forget, you still got a shot, and I don't want to find mine, so. Well, here's a tip. If you're playing in the uh, the Tors Q school, Q school, don't go in here. Just think you... how long this is going to be for that, though. Mate. Right. Just, just get it out. Now, honestly, just, I think you did well to just get there. it Just there. I do have to find it again. Just there, come on. Yes! Oh my god, how far left did that come out? Oh, look at the club face. And we're mad. not in the bunker, that'll do. That is mad. That'll do, come on. <laughs> Play ball, sit. Sit, sit. Sit, 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 sit. That is so, such a difficult green to make it stop on. I landed that at the front edge. I saw, it's a good shot, mate. It's just tough. Well, I think time is nearly up. I've got wet feet. Tell you what, you've won this hole, and that is absolutely the pits of golf. Middle of fairway, flyer. I wish I'm, I'm interested as to how that's happened. You're buzzing with that, don't lie. Right. No, 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 no. Let's back to all square. On 15th, which is actually, I say, one of my favourite holes here at Motcham Hall. Honestly, I thought it was on the ball then. No. Panic over. <laughs> okay, so everywhere we've been, um, the person we played with has to give us some facts about their golf course. I've severely let the side down. I'm going to have to read these off Google on my phone. Um, okay, so it's 7,006 yards. It's a par 72. Probably should have known those two facts. Um, and it's a championship golf course. Now, this golf course actually held, I think, one, maybe two senior um, PGA Open Championships. I actually remember coming here uh, when Paul Waring won, which was actually like, I know it looks quite burnt out today on camera. Um, it was so much more burnt out than that, but I have to say, the rough is a lot thicker. It's actually set across 270 acres around the hotel. So the hotel's in the middle and we literally span all the way around it. Okay, but now it's the 15th hole. This is probably one of my favorite holes, as I said before. Uh, 14 was a bit of an anticlimax. I sort of gave Josh that hole in play, into the rough. I was telling you how thick it was. Right, some better golf coming up in the next hole. So I'm going to use a shot here, which will be my second, so I have two, two left. left. Okay. Beauty ball, mate. Lovely ball. Third hole's a charm. We'll have that. We'll have that. That is a nice try. That is a nice try. This YouTube pressure, mate. <laughs> How do you think I feel? Everybody thinks because I'm a coaching pro that you're unbelievable at golf. You are unbelievable at golf, though. Just hit a flyer into the back of the rubbish. Yeah, but... When was the last time? I think every time, last three times I've played with you, you've shot level or under. I'll give you a brown envelope afterwards. <laughs> Shot. We do not want that back. That is spot. Yeah, it back out. On. Nice shot, mate. Thanks, mate. Decent shot, Josh. Very Thank you, nice. Mate. Anything too far? Yeah. Well, you, you've actually, well, actually, well, actually, this is one of them situations where we probably should have been a bit further back because yeah. of the front flag. But okay, so I'm going to say this quite an outlandish comment because episode four. We're at Moore Allerton, which is, Josh, I saw a guy from our old school, actually. I'll tell you afterwards. Oh. Um, and that course was seriously hard, but I actually think the home course here is one of the hardest courses that we play right now. Hey, you just can't miss. It's it, just the rough. If that's you miss. it, right? So, a few of the holes when I was there, I hit it into the trees. but Not not on purpose, like, obviously. Um, but, like, hit the middle of the fairway and just sort of, like, bounced off. But you found it. Here, yeah. you can sit in. More you, like Northern. Yeah, me. Right. exactly that. You can be a little bit wild. Exactly that. Right, I got 62 yards. I'm going 54 degree. Get this dancing. I could be in. Ooh. Wow. That just like hop and stop. Yeah, I just, I, I could be quite close. I could Maybe be quite close. Fun. Nice shot. So, wedge game has improved. Follow that then, yeah. Tell you what, sir, you have a tough shot here, my mm, friend. Yeah. Bunker to get over, to negotiate. Nice shot. Sit. 
I know, I know, you, I know you've hit oh. that right, but like, I think going straight onto that flag, you'd have had a tough. Yeah, I would never have stopped it. No, because it's to go through. It's, it's quite, quite narrow. narrow. I meant that. Josh is on her. He does have a shot, so if he holds it, it's game over. This hole, you go one up, which I think outrageous. <laughs> right, go on, mate. Do your best. What are you thinking? Just pretty straight. Oh. Yeah. Maybe a touch, maybe a touch just left, like left edge, maybe. You said that like you were asking me a question, am I? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Trying to get some, uh, some uh, help. I mean, you've got to hit it. It's a good line. <sighs> Tell you what, it, that is a nasty three-footer. It is. It is. Do you want me to have a read of it for you? No, you're all right, mate, thanks. Just seeing you have a putt. Do you, the, do you remember the last time I had a putt for you? Yeah, I do actually, to be fair. Didn't give me, an, didn't give me an answer. Yeah, whatever you think, mate. <laughs> did it go in? Yeah, I did, to be fair. This one's not as quick. <laughs> not as quick. What so was that? You've, uh, you've given me a chance. Honestly, that was right in the middle, like your putter just like absolutely dollied. Four, could go, is this a five? This a four. Four, this could go one down here. I mean, if you've got a putt like that, you just don't leave it short. Wow. Nice putt, mate, well done, good four. On the third hole, good four. Cheers, mate. <laughs> For God's sake! <laughs> How? So we've got 185 playing 178. What are you thinking? Let's see, uh, six iron probably. I'm gonna go seven, only purely because that 14th I hit seven once, pretty much same yardage and it went long. Yeah, but you've got fire though. Yeah, but. Just feel a little bit downwind maybe as well. I feel like a seven would be really short. Exactly, exactly. Now this flag is actually very gettable. Usually, when they put this flag, when we have it on the back yeah. tier, when they put it on the back tier, it, it really is like just play middle of the green all day yeah. long. But front tier, you've got a bit of a backstop. Are you scared? That bunk is massive, though. <laughs> I like how you're. I'm thinking A, she's thinking. That bunk is massive, though. You gone six, seven? Six, I just don't think seven will get there. I mean, it's you, such for a long you, it will. I'm going to go seven. Will. But you're on it, you're one up somehow. I feel like I've not put, I hit one bad shot and got really punished. Any shots before you hit? Not on this one. I'm going to take one on the next two though. Lovely strike, yeah, sir. Pushed it a touch. Nice Get out strike. of that. Don't go in there. And I it's... mean, you have found the big bunker. <laughs> no, I meant the other big bunker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was thinking the right one. <laughs> Decent strike though, mate. Yeah, better. Okay, That's so it. I'm going seven iron. So what's your thought process? Land it a little bit short and let it run towards the flat. Land it in. Land it in. Slam dunk. Hit it if there's Kobe. Kobe. Oh, it, oh it's Kobe. Oh, it's a little bit right. Nice shot though. Oh. We're dancing. That is a lovely shot, mate. God, it got caught up a bit, that. You bit that it's a long a way. Hit. One eight to the front. Seven, I like that ball. That ball's a vice and it's just spinning like mad. I usually play a Pro V1X and that's just going. Right. You did find a big there. bunker, though, mate. It is a big bunker. Golf Psychology 101. <laughs> Say where you want it to go. It's one way to get out of the bunker. I think this one's yours, mate. I think that's all square. You. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's coming down to the wire. Last two holes, we're all square. Did that on purpose, just make it exciting. Yeah, I'm sure you did. I get a shot on both. But you do have a shot. Which I'm evidently going to need. So, 17, 18 here, I think, are two really tough finishing holes. 17 is literally probably the same in length as 18, but 17 to par four. There's water, there's trees, it's a dog leg. It's a tough finishing stretch. <laughs> Hello. Perfect ball, Hunter. 
<laughs> 17, toughy. Dog legs to the right. Wind's actually come into to make it even tougher. I'm gonna go dry there um, and play a bit of a cut to try and stop it on this top tier. Should leave me around about 180. But when we get down I've there, we're gonna- shot as well. Well, To oh, leave no doubt, I've yeah, got a shot. You play a shot here. Do you want to use it on the last? I've got two. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Really ruin my day. Excellent. So we're all square for, uh, for the moment, anyway. But when we get down there, we'll talk to Josh's clubs. He's been gaming one length, and I've gained one length before, so um, we'll talk a bit about that. Okay, I got driver. I'm gonna grip down on this baby. Come on. That couldn't be any more perfect, oh, Josh. By the way. Now that could be too big, you know. No, that's faded around the corner. Do you not think that could be too, could be too long? No, absolutely not, it's mate. A nice shot. I'm not, I'm, not, honestly, I'm not saying that, that to be facetious, I'm saying... Facetious, facetious. Um, that's see. absolutely spot on. Very, yeah. very happy with that. Well, uh, That's mad, I tried to hit that so much softer, but it came out like a rocket. Timing. Timing's everything. So I'm going to try and do the same. Just, just choke down and just play a cut. Choke down, play a cut. Choke down, play a hook. Sit. See your ball. Oh, it bounced. So can you go find that? Yeah, I think we'll find it. You do have a shot, I guess. I do have a shot. Come on, Bridgie. Bridgie, 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 Bridgie. It's not quite as thick here. I think you'll find this. How on earth have you just found that? Pay my green fee. Get a little bit of help, extra help, don't you? Oh. Play that bloke in the pro shop to come and point at it. Tell you what, I'm very, very dubious about this. I'll well, stay here with you. And you, were, you were next to me. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, what's that on here? <laughs> I did find a ball. Duo soft. Anybody get in the comments recommend? Never played them before. Um, obviously, they're going to be cheaper than a Pro V, but are they any good? Yeah. Okay. So, also, just to let you know, coming up on the channel, I will be showing a full club fitting down at Scottsdale Golf um, in the full performance studio. We've been getting built, absolutely everything, which I think will be extremely cool. It is. Okay, you've got a shot. So if you get this out, you're literally going to be lying the same as me. But that is the question. If. No, I think it's not, not as thick as the others. Just aim a little bit right, I would. Aim right? Yeah. Like, at the tree? Yeah, well, maybe at, not that far. At the camera. <laughs> just, uh, just anticipate it's going to come out left. <laughs> Hold on tight. Oh, oh well, he's mate. played one there. You've got to be over the moon with that. I'm absolutely over the moon. I'm going to have a shot, so we are now lying even. Yeah. Pairs. I've still got a top in me though, don't worry about that. <laughs> right, let's talk clubs, because I used to use one length if you've been following me on my uh, tip channel for a while, and now you're using, these were actually mine. You, say you might recognise them. Um, but, how have you found them? Like, because it's, it's a big, let's say if you've always used variable length, it's a big change. Yeah, um, I, to be honest, I, I played nice with them. I, I was playing, my golf game is, uh, has a little to be desired, as you can tell. But, well, I, think you, I don't think I think push I, the camera. Yeah, probably. But I've played nice golf with them. I think it does make it easier having one set up. Um, and when you hit them, they, they, they go just as far. I don't feel like I've lost any length no. in using them. That, that's exactly what I found. Actually, it's going to be interesting. When I go for that full fitting, I'm going to test them again uh, yeah. up against a variable length. Just, just, you know, just to sort of... Mate, would you go back? Well, I think we'll perform better. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Definitely. What have I got? Uh, 190 to the flag. In to the left, what are you going with? Five? Five. How do you know that? It's got a blue grip. The slippiest blue grip. grip in the world. <laughs> right. Let's try and get it to that front edge. Let it release a little bit. Tell you what, you have just played one of the best shots of the day, son. Release. Roll up a bit. Do you know what? I'm really happy with that. Oh, oh, that's about 15 feet. Over the moon. No, I think it's still on the bottom tier. Nice shot, mate. Just, I'll take that, yeah, definitely. Good luck, mate. Okay, so what have you got? One second. 176 flag. Wow, that wind's getting up. <laughs> it is. Do you know what? I'm, I am shocked that the ball stopped where it has. Yeah, you, you played know what? A, You played a good shot there, and you've got it's, a bit unlucky, I think. As much as that shot suits me, because I fade it, like, I find it really hard. To put it in perspective, like, it has to come over that tree, like, sort of just left the buggy. Yeah. And how it stops on the downslope. Yeah. I mean, 
I don't know. But then it could have been worse, could have ended up over there. Yeah. So. I mean, I'm sort of regretting hitting this. Like, <laughs> everything that I said on 14 about not having a downhill lie to a raised green, I've now got it. I can't believe what... Whoa, you're like 20 foot away. It's fair, I'm further away than we thought, yeah. No, I was saying like, I thought it was close enough. It's on the bottom tier though, isn't it? Yeah. But were you thinking seven iron, six iron? That wind's strong. I'm going to have to go six. That wind's getting a little bit too much there, I think. I'm not taking on that flag. Because if I hit the, yeah, we're lying the same basically if I hit the green. Yeah. Right, okay. Oh, you've played one there. That is right at the flag. Oh my God, be the club, please. Get in the hole. Oh, short. Sure. <sighs> Not short the green. That was such a letdown. It looked like it was going so <laughs> close. It looked like it was going so close. It was literally like straight at it. Anyway, we're dancing. I reckon about, well, you're a little bit inside me. Yeah, just a touch. Well, that's a nice shot though. That wind got, got up though, didn't it, as you hit it? I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy. It's a put off. Put off, put off, indeed. Oh, nice roll, mate. Four. Nice roll. That is a four. I'm thinking it might be, it's going to be good enough for a half. Well in, mate. That is, this is for the hole, Josh, though. In fact, this is for you to go one up with one to play. You just try to put a bit of pressure on there. It's not an easy put. I know it's not. Like a bit of a cover drive, that. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. I would say it was, yeah, it did bobble a bit, but there's bobbling and then there's just there's not hitting it very well. Bobbling and then there's uh, blasting it. Right, so this is to halve the hole. Yes. This is to halve the hole. To take it all square. It's the mind game. Down the last. Do you want me to hold that flag for you, sir? I'll do that, no problem. For my caddy and all. For my caddy and all. Oh. Big put this. Thanks, mate. Now, is ever a positive about hitting it through the break? At least you see which way it goes on the way back. But I wasn't, he wasn't online, so... <laughs> no, well, yeah, that, uh, there's your problem. Do you know what? That is just absolutely terrible. Well, one up, one to play. One up, one to play. Let's get it over and done with. <laughs> <laughs> It's coming down to this. I am one up. What? It's a broken tee. Uh, I am one up, one to play. 18th here at Motcham Hall. It's a par five, and if you get a good tee shot away, you 100% get up in two. And I've got a shot as well. Oh, I keep it. Don't, don't forget that. I thought, I want to see it. Oh. Right, okay. Downwind off the left slightly. And that would be a good tee shot. It's a great tee shot, the worst balance. I feel like I was up in the air as I hit that. That has gone a long way, that. Yeah, that was a good hit. Good shot, mate. Under the cosh here, son. Under the cosh, indeed. Like, this tee shot, when you look at it, you, the bunkers are like strategically placed, and then the rough's really thick on the left as it grows in. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Yeah, good ball, mate. I could work quite well, that. Get over. Yes. Yeah, nice ball, mate. Very good. And a little kick into the fairway as well, I think. Very good. So it's all going to come that. down to this. Will we be in range to get up in two? Well, I can't hit my three woods, so no. <laughs> <laughs> so I am just going to play for position here. I've got nine iron in hand. Alex is probably going to reach in two, but I have got a shot, so I'm. You do I need to win I the hole. Get there, you do need to win the hole, though. I do. I know I need to win the hole, but I can't get there. I can't. I can't hit my three wood. <laughs> Unless you want to see that, it'd be quite funny. But we're just I'm, gonna go nine nine. I just think a bit of a wimpage. Wimpage here. Yeah, wimpage. Nice swing, mate. Lovely strike, sir. Chop. So that should leave me where I want to be. Hopefully, two. 20 flag. I'm gonna go three iron. I know it's a little bit downwind, but I'm gonna grip down and try and cut one in there. 
I think four iron's a big, big ask. Pile the pressure on here. So I'm gripping down. Oh my God, be the club, please. Yeah, nice shot. It's a putt for an eagle. I absolutely love this club. Cheating stick, isn't it? It is a cheating stick. So, Josh, officially, mate, you are under a lot of pressure here. I've got to stick it closer, there, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, I'll have, well, I'm, I'm going to make a four, so you've got to make a four or better. So you're not going to three putt? You heard it here first. Please three putt. No, Please three I don't three putt. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Tell you what, sir, you've played a beaut here. Sit. sit, sit. Right, so this is a big putt. If you make this? If I make this, that's four for three. Okay. So you've then got to make that. To halve this hole and then over up? Yeah. yeah. But Just if you don't make that, then it's match halved. Match halved. But I've got to make this, that's a big if. Yeah, the, 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 the whole if here is that you make that. Okay. Not it's seeing like, much in it. Like Tiger gonna... Woods in it. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. <laughs> Gosh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know on that one. <laughs> so that's five, four. Four for three. Tell you what, I've played some terrible golf in this uh, this video, but it's about when you show I up, didn't, isn't it? It's about when you show up. I didn't really react because I, I just still <laughs> can't quite believe what I've just seen. It's about when you show up. I can't believe you've just told that. Right in the heart as well. So, two to halve the match. That's fine, mate. This is a big putt now. What were you saying about Tiger Woods? Could you take it out for me? Yeah, of course I can. Not a problem. Get it out of the hole. I was saying, this is where your remote would be starting to vibrate. <laughs> did not expect him to hold that at all. Do you want to tend or do you want it out? I want it out, please. Out, out. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. How on earth has that just happened? There's a good distance on it. I'll give oh, you thanks, that. mate. <laughs> Good How pain. on earth have I half that match? I feel terrible. Because I played some terrible golf. I'm not you absolutely lie. should feel terrible. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed episode five here on Bat9 Films. This is me at my home club versus a good friend Josh. If you did like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And also, comment down below where you're watching from. And I'll also leave the pod down here as well. Give it a listen. Mm -hmm.